Hi, so we're here in the kids' bathroom, and this should hopefully be the, the final in the, the bathroom series. We, we finally got the mirror put in in here. So I thought it would be a good time to show how the cabinetry turned out. So I thought I'd show how I made the backsplash and put that in, and then how the mirror got put in. So this isn't going to be so much of a build video, although I'll show a little bit. If you want to see how the cabinets were made, they were made the same way that I made the cabinets in the master bathroom. So you can click on the link and watch the previous video about that. What I did a little bit different in this bathroom is I put in a backsplash at the back of the counter. And I built that by taking a scrap piece of the three quarter inch plywood that I used for the cabinets. And I attached some of the same plastic laminate to that strip of plywood. So I cut a six inch wide strip of the plywood and a little bit wider strips of the plastic laminate and I put the contact cement on each and let them dry and then use the same technique again of holding the two apart just slightly with scrap pieces of wood, putting them together from the, working from the center outward. And then roll it, the two surfaces together to apply pressure to the glue. And I flush trim the edge of the plastic laminate. And I cut a, a really thin strip for the top of the backsplash, which I carefully put contact cement on and use the same technique again. And then for the thin edge, holding the router was going to be difficult, so I made two of these strips of the, for the backsplash. So I used one to support the router while routing the other. So it gave me a wider surface to hold the router on. Then I just used construction adhesive to glue the backsplashes in place. And that seems to be working. I couldn't figure out how to clamp this in place very well. So I, what I tried doing was using some scrap boards clamped to the counter to kind of give pressure to the backsplash. This kind of worked. I mean, it helped hold it in place. It didn't really push on the backsplash very hard. We finally got the mirror installed, which, which we had done by someone else. And they put in a metal strip at the bottom to hold the bottom of the mirror. Then they put adhesive on the walls just to hold the mirror in place. And then the mirror went in. Okay, we're past the thing, so start dropping. How are you looking over there? Yeah. No, you look this way back. About there? Yeah, it looks good. Okay. I figure since we have so many drawers now, we didn't really need the storage of the medicine cabinet. So we just put in a big single sheet of mirror, which makes for a much simpler and cleaner look and simpler for cleaning. And they cleaned it up and we were done with the bathroom. So the one kind of screw up in this bathroom, I made the the width of this cabinet the same as the width in the master bathroom because it made it easy to, to build because it was sort of building the, the same cabinet. But the problem was that the, the cabinet fit and I measured for that and it fit just fine but the way the door is here, I didn't have room for the counter to overhang the drawer fronts and the, and the door fronts. So when if water comes over the edge, it's going to drip right into the into the drawers, basically. So it's not, not really the best detail, especially in a kid's bathroom where there's always water everywhere. <laughs> so it looks really nice. I like the look of it, but it's not so much the best water detail. So far, it's been fine. And the kids seem to like it. <laughs>